a slice of melon, watermelon I guess, and this is one of these classic neon shapes, but in this instance it's reimagined with a LED type neon, this sort of linear strip, and you can see a slight pixelation at the side, but from the front it looks very good. And when I saw this in the shop, I thought, oh that's really tacky the way they've done this, and then I thought, that's actually genius. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to put the lights up here. I'm going to try not to wobble this surface too much. I'm going to lock the exposure off so it doesn't yew you up and down. And we'll take a look at it. Because this is a vac-formed plastic tray, much like you'd find the bubble packaging for stuff like, in this case, Solar Pals. And it's just that sort of vac-formed plastic housing. But in this case, it's just a single layer and they've laid the neon, the flexible LED neon, into the channel that they've vac formed. And there's two connection points. The green uh, has the wire from the power supply come in. I'll show you the power supply, in fact. It's the classic Jutai power supply, uh, common with Christmas lighting, so quite good quality. But they've got the uh, Power supply coming in, 4.5 volt power supply, presumably allowing for a voltage drop across the cable itself. And it taps onto the end of the first bit of neon, physically soldered onto the end of the LED tape inside. And then it loops out and then goes on to the second colour. And the plastic itself has the printed seeds on it, the sort of pips. And it's also got holes mounted in it so you... Uh, punching it so you can actually hang it on the wall or screw it onto the wall in a particular shape, whatever you want. It's very cleverly done. And looking at this, uh, they've also got little silicon caps. I've taken one off here to show the connections. I'll try and do this without destroying everything. Let's zoom down, zoom down like that, and then focus on that. And you can see, if that focused properly, that it really is. It's a bit tacky, actually, the way they've done it. It does have the bus bar, but I'm not sure how often the bus bar is connected to the LED tape, but they have just soldered directly onto the LED tape here. And then they've used, uh, just to cap it off, this little sort of silicon cap just glued onto it, and then they've sort of pressed it into the housing, the frame itself. And the end result is, uh, it's pretty neat. It uh, really does simplify the manufacture and it holds everything completely rock steady. The one thing I might have changed here, depending if the bus bars are connected, how, how often they're connected along there, I might have just pre-terminated that into little brass pins and then just stuffed them up the end of the bus bars, but in this case they've soldered it directly on. So what I originally thought was tacky is actually really quite clever. It's no real different to the uh, the standards of the solids of acrylic panels they used to sort of mount neon on. It's not the super flimsy plastic either. It's fairly rigid-ish, uh, but it's very neat. It's a very clever implementation of this. So tell me what you think. Do you think this is a good way of doing it? Uh, it's certainly easy if you think that, you know, all you need to do to make something like this is get a channel that you can shape uh, mount it down onto wood and then vac form over it so you know it's just a clever way of doing that as i say let me know what you think down in the comments below